Hi everyone, today I am excited because we have got berries to colour and I love colouring berries. So this is our second picture from our new Ivy series and I am using my Castle Art soft touch pencils. I'm going to be using my Indian red. We've got a number there as well. I wonder if the numbers tie up with the gold or if they have different numbers. Don't know. Anyway, there is our um, Indian red, and we're going to start by putting a bit of colour at the bottom. Now, your berries are on an angle. I to fit them under my tripod. I had to angle the book slightly. You may have seen in yesterday's video when I did that. I'm going to gently fade that as we go up the berry, and we're going to add some other colours to this. This is a colour I don't use very often. So I'm not really sure um, what to expect from it, but uh, should have some fun with it, see what happens. There we go. And I think I'm going to do that bit like that. I don't know why, I just feel that will work. I'm going to use, oops, next. Now this is interesting, this is the Chinese orange. I haven't used it yet. I haven't sharpened it. It's still square. The ends are square when they first come these. I haven't used it. So we're going to be using it. I don't know why. It's a nice colour I think. Just checking you can see. And let's uh, go over. You can see it's quite similar to the other colour. It's a bit more, a bit paler. Nice warm colour. And just gently taking that colour up the berry do the same on this one now I'm going to do a last colour at the top I think I'm going to do one that's a bit paler just make sure I've got enough of that going on down here there we go so I was thinking that maybe the cinnamon but I'm wondering if that's going to be a bit too brown. I think I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to do the yellow ochre lice. It's quite yellowy. I think that might work. We'll see how it works. I do it gently. I just want it to look light on the top. So we'll see. And it will mix in with some of the orange that's down there. Yeah. I like that. And it keeps that warmth. Which is what I wanted to preserve. There we go, and we can do the same on this one. My son's here with me today, he's getting a bit fidgety, I think he's getting bored of not being able to talk. I might make this my last video, would you like that? Oh, he's not listening. But uh, yeah, he's playing his games. There we go. Now for that little bit at the bottom, this little curly bit, I think that is probably um, supposed to be where the um, flower has sort of died back and the, um, the berry has formed. So I would usually do that in a sort of brown colour. So I'm going to use the burnt umber. Oops. I use this a lot, it's quite short. I don't want it too dark over the whole thing, so I'm going to try and make it a little bit darker along the edge of the berry and lighter towards the end. It's quite difficult in this space, it's just very small space, but I think it'll work. There we go. Now we've got quite a bit of green here to do, haven't we? Um, I'm thinking to go with these browns, a mid-green or a brownie green. Maybe our olive greens might be quite good, actually. So I think these three might work. I'm just trying to see which is the darkest out of those two. I'm just going to scribble them on my page. That's the darkest. Okay, and start with the darkest and then move through from dark to light. It's not always that easy to see. This is the chrome green. 
Okay, so I'm going to do the very darkest areas. So see where this is overlapping? There's going to be some shadow in here as well and along here and then there and there, probably a bit down here, why not? And maybe the just the base of those like that. So just a little touch and we might come back and use more of that later. I'm just going to sharpen now. Gosh, I nearly knocked my whole tin of pencils on the floor then. I gave it a shove by, when I picked up my sharpener by mistake. So this is Oxide of Chrome. It's a little bit paler. We're going to go over those areas and just extend that green up the stem. Across there and I'm thinking the bottom of the leaves, the tops might be catching, the lights might be a little bit lighter. that um, up here extending these a little bit just a touch up here I'm going to leave that there it might need some more but we'll put on our final colour actually yeah. this is called cadmium green sorry my page keeps moving up and down and around it's it should improve with time it's because I haven't this is quite a new book and so I haven't opened the pages very much so that it's not really pushed open if that makes sense I mean obviously pushing down on the spine isn't advisable but it, the more you do the more the book sort of stays open and uh, you sort of do it without realizing as you color the UK editions of Johanna's books don't tend to break on the spine. I've never had them do it and never had any pages come loose. But I have got a US edition of Magical Jungle, which I finished, but some of the pages are really loose, close to falling out. I think it, they're just bound in a different way. So if you're in the US and you want a book that doesn't fall apart, you have to buy a UK one, which can be expensive. And, uh, or some people get them spiral bound, so that is another option. I'm just grabbing another colour. Oh, it doesn't want to sharpen though. There we go. I'm just going to use my brush on there. Right, what I'm doing is I'm getting my lemon yellow. I'm just going to go on the edges a little bit, just lighten them up. I'm not sure how much it's going to show up. But uh, I think it will make a little bit of difference. And it's a way of just blending together those greens at the top without adding more green. So it doesn't make it darker. There we go. Now I'm just going to add a final touch. I'm going to add some white to the berries to give a shine. Now, if you're not confident in doing that, leave them like this because it can make it, it can spoil them to be honest if you don't get it right. And um, practice, obviously. But um, now I'm using a thin gel pen. This is a 05 Secura Jelly Roll. Now, this is a bit of a risk because they don't always write very well. So we'll see. I'm not sure whether to do it under here or up there. I think at the top is probably better. The um, reason they don't write well is because the nibs are so fine, they um, they clog. So anyway, I'm just going to, there we go, put that little line there and there. Now, if you follow the shape of the object, it looks more natural. It works better. Um, there we go. It looks like it's getting whiter and whiter as it dries. It's really strange but anyway there is our finished berry I had a lot of fun with that <coughs> with those berries um, I'm hoping there's some more but I don't know if there is 
don't think so that's a shame anyway we've got lots more pretty flowers and things to do so thank you for watching um pop back tomorrow see what we're going to do with this one we might add some sparkle like we did on that one you never know i will wait and see but uh, thank you for watching enjoy the rest of your day and happy colouring.